Hello and welcome to Organs of Super with me, David Cooper. Okay, so today I've got the Orla Grand Theatre. The Grand Theatre is the same sort of specification as the Compact Theatre, but you've got this nice big lid that comes down, it's like a big bureau. So this is the Grand Theatre. Now they all arrange, some of them look quite similar, but the um, the speakers and the sound generation is different through the range and the, the Grand Theatre is one of the higher models in the series and what makes it really good is you've got this row of uh, presets, if you look on the right hand side here we've got a row of vintage flute bars, virtual theatre, church organ, reality combo, reality orchestra, band and overall presets. Now each of these give us uh, 16 registrations, there's 8 showing, we press this A, B to B and then we get another eight. So there's 16 registrations for each of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven batches. So 70, 40, 112 variations just by going through these buttons. And that's what I use most of the time. It's so easy to make a good registration. The other thing that's particularly good about this instrument is these sliders. Um, these two are, are, are like a graphic EQ. You've got the bass and you've got the treble that you can adjust. But we've also got one called presence. And I was just playing it with some string sounds. If we listen to the, the string sound on here, let's just go to here. This is the strings. I can bring this presence down, and it sort of changes the way the sound comes across. And also, I've got this treble and bass, so I can make the, the strings much more sh shrill. So every single sound we're using can be controlled a lot more than just what we're hearing now because we've got these controls for the presence and the EQ of the sound which can make it more bassy or trebly or less shrill to suit your ear and the style of music you're playing. Let's go through some of the sounds. We've got some really good sounds to show you. I'm in reality orchestra at the moment so I'm not going to do too much button pressing. I want you to see how simple. So I go to my reality orchestra, I'll go to button number one and it tells me I've got Mantova strings, that's going to be their version of Mantovani strings. If I go a little bit further, let's go to the next one, Harmony strings. This brings in the automatic harmony, the melody on chord, the AOC, technichord, where you play a left hand chord and it puts those notes into your melody sounds. going to do it automatically from the chord. Even on one note chords it will do the same thing for me. Let's go a little further. Uh, piano harmony strings. a huge difference. Let's get a little bit further then we've got some romantic strings, Sorrento magic, guitars and strings. So we've gone through the, there's loads of orchestral sounds in there. Let's go to reality combo. Okay, so the one I'm on at the minute um, is modern jazz flugel. <laughs> Here we've got 
some accordion. <laughs> to church organ. So we've got chapel organ first. Theatre sounds, let's try theatre. <laughs> Sixteen every time to choose from, from all of those grey buttons down that right hand side. So each section is going to give us a user button. If you come close on here that we've got the, the user button in this blue section. I've currently got on my, um, let's see, I've got my nylon guitar. But if I use the user button we get a variation. So there's my nylon guitar and the user button gives me nylon guitar too. So every single voice has a a second voice that we can bring in just by bringing in the user button. And what we can do with this is we can bring from a library of three or four hundred sounds the sound that we want to be on the user button. So if I'm in the piano section, I've got piano and strings in the user button. But with the user button off, it's a different sound. Now, by going into this set button and into user, I can choose what voice I want to be my uh, second voice. So I can change my voice. Let's see, we go through these and we go up to, there's loads to choose from. So I'm going to go to my bells and I'm going to now lock that in to the user button. So now my piano is either user off piano or user on. And every single section can have this user voice for every single button. So I've got an extra set of voices that can be brought in just by pressing the user. It's a really useful feature and that works for the green, the yellow and the blue section. And we can bring in up to four sounds at once. One from the organs, one from the blue section, one from the yellow and one from the orchestra. So we could have four sounds mixed together at any point. Okay, something else we can do. All the rhythms have setups. Um, a bit like if you've got a Taros or Genos or something, you'll be used to the one touch settings. So if I go into Let's go into one of the rhythms now. I'm going to go into um, Big Band, okay? If I use this automatic setup button, it will give me a Big Band setup. And when I play my chord, there's an intro that starts, and also it's giving me a sound. I'll go to a different one. Let's go to Dixie. I'll go to my automatic setup button and play my chord, and we'll get a sound. Polka dot piano. 
Simplest backing. Okay. Number two. Some extra sounds coming in. And number three. And what we've got to remember is that every button on here also has three different rhythms. So I've got Dixie on. I'm on C at the moment. If I go to B, we get a different choice of Dixies. So let's try that now. Really good back into the clarinet Sound. Let's go to the third Dixie, which is the A button, and let's see what that sounds like. Different speed again. Of different variations for every rhythm. Let's go to another rhythm and just get some idea of what else we're getting. So I go to a, a rumba rhythm and I'll go to the rumba A and we'll just play a chord to get the intro. <laughs> Let's try Bossa Nova. We'll go to the A1 first and I'll play my first chord. So we've got the A backing and it's going to give us the intro here. And we're into the song. So boss number B is a jazz boss nova.
third bossa nova on here is the uh, the C, the third one. We play a chord to hear the difference. It's nice. loads of variety on the rhythm section. Every rhythm is going to give us three choices for that name and every choice is going to give us three variations and each of those give you intros, two fill-ins, endings. There's lots and lots to make your playing sound even better without having to put quite so much effort in so that suits my playing perfectly. Okay so to sum this instrument up we've got uh, two 61 note keyboards, we've got an octave of bass pedals, there's even a sustain pedal if you want to use uh, the piano sounds or some of the percussive sounds, you can hold that down and that will sustain the notes for you. We've got uh, four lower, or three lower sections, flutes and uh, upper, we've got four. The flutes themselves, we can use, I haven't even covered those, we've got a flute button and these is our flute draw bar section. They can't call them draw bars, so they call them flute bars. But this is where we can make our own sounds. <laughs> Leslie speaker or slow okay and we can use presets of organ sounds turn this rhythm for a minute Lots of presets, lots of choices in the sound section, the additional user voice for every button, all the rhythms with the variations, uh, the, the all the grand third, it's a fabulous instrument, you should consider it. Yes, we pod exchange organs, keyboards and pianos and we give really good allowances, just give us a ring fill out the form on our um, website and we can give you a good allowance and let you know. We include um, picking the pod exchange up and delivering the new instrument out to you and all of our backup service as well. We used to always go to Sulcombe as a family, that's a really lovely favourite place of mine in the UK. But also uh, Italy, I love Italy for its food and its um, architecture, so yeah, Italy is a favourite and also Solcombe. My son bought me a pizza oven a while ago and we often have pizzas where the guys are in the garden cooking with their beers and getting cold and the girls are in the house making lovely pizzas and the dough so that's quite a nice thing we do now as a family. I started learning um, the organ with my father um, when I was about 11 so I kind of got into the music and then working in a music shop as a Saturday boy from the age of 15. I think that was the um, sort of turning point uh, where I found I could have a, perhaps a career in the music industry. But I, I always wanted to pick potatoes. My dad talked me out of it, saying that I'd have a bad back from picking potatoes up through uh, trying to earn some um, pocket money through the school holidays. So I'm quite pleased that it went down the organ route. I expect I'd be quite proud knowing that I'd be selling organs and uh, playing a hobby instrument for the rest of my life. So um, I think, yeah, I'd have been quite proud of um, looking forward and seeing what I'm doing now. I had no idea what I wanted to be when I was uh, 10 years old. I remember getting a Saturday job in a music shop and thinking that was my career sorted. See you next time for Organs of Super with me, David Cooper.